we're live. What up? Let's get weird. It's your boy Tommy G here with the Wednesday edition of the Stay Cash and Show. It is not Dinger Tuesday anymore, but it was Dinger Tuesday yesterday. Ding, 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 ding. Five. Ding, ding, ding. I had to quiet the <laughs> ding and then ding, ding. <laughs> Five. Count them. Five home runs out of the three of us. Five. I accounted for three of them. <laughs> but Bill was first and I was last, and that's way more important. And I had you the big the, meat in the sandwich. It was like a triple bacon cheeseburger, and you were all the meat in the middle, and it didn't build it was up. Like a, it was a triple stuffed Oreo. Yeah, yeah it's triple I mean, stuffed Oreo. Dude, what other show is going to come out week two of baseball? Based on a request from the chat, right? Didn't we didn't even, even know have, it was Digger Tuesday. We didn't even <laughs> have it planned. No fucking idea. We didn't know it was Tuesday. I didn't know it was April, right? Like, we're <laughs> fucking, we're sitting there. Give us home runs, guys. All right. Um, Rackets. Bryce Harper. Bang. Ding, ding, ding. Bill. Yelich. Ding. Christian Walker. Ding. And the Brewers. And the Yelich gave the Brewers the lead. Thanks. What a fucking show. Like, how does any how does any other show or site exist? Right? I don't know, man. I mean, usually if a show gets one, it's great. Off the cuff, too. We had no plans for no that. No plan. Nothing. nothing. We were just like, ah, yeah, all right. Let's take that. Yeah, guy. just give me 30 seconds to look. Yeah, let me go to Fangrass for one second. All right. Yeah, fly ball rate. Yeah, that's a go. All right. Yeah, let's do that. That's it. Like nothing. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I predicted the home run of the Oakland game, too. I think I said there was a home run coming out of Oakland. Either way, we're the best. Whatever. Uh, a couple bad beats yesterday, uh, but a couple great wins. We'll talk speaking, about that in a little bit. Speaking of Oakland, you fucking clown. I mean, those <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> like that was the best bet to never win, right? Like, I mean, could you? They should have won that game seventeen who times. Who bets on the A's? First of all, right? I'm, I'm thinking the A's plus one forty. They should have won that game. They had oh, bases. God. They had corners with nobody out or one out or what? Or I think it was nobody out. Corners with nobody out. They didn't fucking score. <laughs> they had the the uh, for the extra inning or bottom of the ninth. They had a chance to win it. <laughs> Sacrifice bunting with a man on second, no outs in the fucking so extra bad, inning. Dude. Dumbest thing. If you're gonna bunt, guys, here's here's how it here's how it goes. Bunt, bunt, or don't bunt. Yeah, one or the other. You because as soon as you bunt to... the first time, you're automatically inviting the double play. But, right. So here's the thing. Bunt to get the guy to third. Fine. I hate bunting. No one should ever bunt. But unless it's for a hit. Bunt the guy to third. Great. Then bunt him home. Bill, when has a team ever hit a sacrifice fly in their life? Never. Anyway. Never. And and then you always get the intentional and walk, walk right the next after that. Guy, so yep. you have a double play set up. And then he always grounds bunt into the double play. Him to third. Then bunt him home. And then the Red Sox brought in five infielders and the dude swings at the first pitch and grounds into the pitcher. <laughs> How about fucking Seth Brown on second base when fucking uh oh yeah he hit the ball like 687 feet and he, he went back he didn't even tag up. Rafaela made a great play at the wall, but bro, you're standing on you could be standing with both feet on second base, the ball could hit the and wall and you would still score. You could crawl like the thing out of the ring that comes through the TV, right? That like yep, like you could have got home at that speed. And he's yet somehow, he was on third base. He's on third base coming comes back. all the way back. I mean. Listen, then how about how about the fucking best? This is all, by the way, just extra innings of the A's game. Then how about when we have first and second, right? No out. Or no, first and uh, first and third. First, oh, yes, and, third. first and third. First One and out. third, no out. Laser to third base. Has the guy at home by 50 feet and turns a double play to give up the winning run. Yep. Like you have home the first. Dude, you get a double play that way. Doesn't just go this way. Also goes that way. He had him cooked at home too. I, I mean, what a there. bet that was. Who bets on the fucking A's? To not win that was very disappointing. And they were leading, too, for yeah, they, were, I mean, of the this, game. they were the better team pretty much all game. Uh, but listen, bad teams do bad things at bad times. Evan, what do we got today? Uh, uh, we well, got to bring Cubby on, right? You want to bring Cubby on first? Yeah, might as well get Cubby Before on. We do headlines. Got, Let's get it out of the way. He's got 2.30. Uh, you don't believe he's here yet. I can tell him to come Jesus on. Jesus Christ, Cubby. I mean, what the fuck? Cubbabble. Fucking babbling fool. I told him to come on. Yeah, he said he had to come on early. Yeah, he said, I got to be on at two th by 2.30. My shit starts at 2.30. Where are you, Kababble? All right, Kababble, get in here. Jesus. Fucking Kababble. Kababble. So, anyway, we'll have a Kababble Hoosier uh, in here shortly to give us a soccer bet. I think he said it starts at 2.30, right? What's 2.15? Yeah, 2.15. Right, he's, he's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. I don't know. Permission to come aboard, Captain. 
Now he's got audio. Hey. We salute you. I What's up, right? fella? Did I do that right? Is that how I do it? Or is it here? To here? Gotta... Where do I go? It's eyebrow, I think, right? Yeah, it's not. Poor eyebrow. That good? Good. Is that good? And do What's I up? do I slice it down or do I go out? Ah, uh, don't don't go out. We're not. That's hot. That's high, right? Like, yeah, we, don't, <laughs> we want to calm down with well, it, right? Don't, don't go out. <laughs> Is he a bunker? <laughs> you look, you kind of look like a Nazi soldier. I'm not, <laughs> not blonde hair, blue eyes. I'm good. Kyle, <laughs> Kababble. Is he a bunker? Uh, so, uh, how you doing, Kababs? Uh good. I'm out of the bunkers of uh, Nashville. Now back in Indiana, sadly. Nice. Uh, you working? You home? What are we doing? I'm finally back to work because I'm in uniform, sort okay, of. I was going to say, I don't know if you just like wearing those colors. You know, maybe a thing. You just, you know, you get used to it. You would think, you would think with how much I wear. Oh, yeah. So what do you got here? You wanted to come on before two thirty? Let's get some soccer pop. Uh, yeah. So we're going to go uh, to the EPL at two thirty. We have Brentford versus Brighton. Mm -hmm. We're going to for team total over one and a half. It's sitting at minus one fifteen. Brighton's defense is in shambles. This team is an absolute wreck right now. They're injured in basically every position. Uh, so we're just going to go right to Brentford. I like them at home. They have Wisa. They have Tony up top. This team can create for those two, so I, I like them to score a couple. Uh, and then the uh, other thing, I'm going to jump over to Thursday real quick. Uh, okay. If you've been, been talking about laddering shots on targets for Liverpool, so uh, tomorrow we're going to do that. Right now we got a three-way race. It's like three points separated between City, Pool, and Arsenal. Uh -huh. Bulls face uh, Sheffield United tomorrow. And they're absolute dog shit. So mm -hmm. we're going to pull 10 plus shots on target at plus 100. Um, I'm going to be laddering that up to 15. It's going to be like plus 1200 at 15. Uh, plus, they've done 6, 13, 10, 13, 15, 8, 12, 10, and 8 in their last, last handful of home games. So, and now they need goals for goal differential to stay up on top with points. In case they get tied, so I love these guys to come out and just be fucking lethal and just go all at it. Wow, wow! So you think this is going to be a fucking onslaught early, huh? I think tomorrow Liverpool comes out, and I think they just they get two or three, and they don't stop. And they keep trying for them. Bill, what do you think of all that? Um, I'm not really following that soccer right now because of all the people who are out and everything. Mm -hmm. So, Bill, you do look kind of tan. I know I got burnt as fuck. Wow. I was tanner than you. And it's oh, fucking dude, I just came back from Las Vegas in California and I look like fucking Casper the friendly fucking handicapper. <laughs> it's your yeah. Italian. Yeah. Like, you <laughs> no Italian. Did, did did you like my flower box? I, I loved your flower box. Uh but uh, Kebab, have you seen Bill's box? N no, I'm, I've not been to that. <laughs> have you deflowered I, Bill's box? When it's finished, I will post it, but it looks great it does look great why don't you post it now why don't you fucking give him no, a new flower box? No, 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 it's not finished did not you finished. build it or are you just put no, it yeah, i built it yeah, yeah I, built it. I built a flower what? box hey it looks pretty fucking nice i'm not gonna lie looks pretty I'm nice up over here with lawn care i'm fucking loving this shit oh know. yeah i, I did I, my i did i put put the first layer of sand down on my grass oh, the other day. oh you're using the sand technique the TikTok technique huh yeah, using the sand all right i like it all I right know how, how it comes out Kababa, you look adorable again today. Thank you. Yeah, hey, you're very cute, man. Date tomorrow. These guys are fucking playing insane right now. I was at the semifinals last night. I saw numb nuts numbers across there. Wait, you they saw numbers? You saw numbers at the stadium? I didn't want to go see him. He's fucking kind of a creeper sometimes. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> numbers was at the same game as you, and you didn't go say hi. That's on the other side, that pay that place oh, is on the other side. I mean, how would you ever, how would you ever fucking get I to him on the other side? <laughs> I sent Indiana State fans, and it's going to be insane. I thought it's, I think I saw like four Seton Hall fans last night. That place oh, going to be. I told you, Indiana State's winning this whole thing. We got plus seven hundred. I don't know. I mean, we're going to have to hedge a little bit, but um... Conwell fucking stud. Everyone talks about Robbie Avila. Conwell is is that dude. This dude can fucking score. Seems nasty. Oh, it's so good. I'm so mad they weren't in the tournament because I would have had him getting out of the first weekend. Uh, it's good to see him win the NIT, though, and stick the big fucking D -I -I -D -I -C -K into the fucking uh, committee's face. But um, let me ask you this guy. I got tickets for $35 a pop last week. Now they're going for three to $400. Should Whoa. I go 
Should I go to the game or flip them for 10 plus ROI? I mean, listen, you could do what I used to do back in the day. Like, see, now now me and Bill, we just fucking throw money at shit because we're fucking retarded. But if you want to be savvy, wait till it tips off and then you'll get them for like fucking 20 bucks in the parking lot. All the scalpers. Do they have scalpers out in Indiana? They invent those area oh, yet? Oh, fuck. There were scalpers all over the place. Yeah, dude. Just listen. The second that game tips off. That's what I would do. That's I'd what flip I them to... and then rub, rebuy my own. Yeah, rebuy yeah. from the scalpers. Yeah, I'd flip them and then rebuy from the scalpers, dude. Because yeah. we used to do that at Jets game all the time. We were young and broke. We used to fucking go there just wait till kickoff. Second you hear that fucking kickoff happen, $20. Who wants them? Because they just need to get the fuck out of there. Nah, it's not even about how much it costs. It's just the fact that, shit, man, these tickets have went. I mean, scalpers. listen, if you can go make 350 on a fucking ticket and then go get one for 30 why the fuck not? I might have to do that. So flip, flip, flip yeah, it down. Or you. yeah, you just flip them and then you bet on the game with a friend. You got a free. Yeah, bet. and then just throw three fifty on fucking Indiana State money line minus one thirty five. I already got. I already got the future. So let's go in more. Let's go. All right, good babble. Get back to work. Go fucking kill some Muslims or whatever you're doing over there. Later, fellas. Later, bro. We're gone. And we're demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? It's I, I, I fucking Ramadan, I dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't want the Muslims to die. That's just what military people do, right? We're always fighting it's the fucking Ramadan. Arabs. He said it's fucking Ramadan. So what? <laughs> I can say it like next week? Yeah. When, when they at least have a belly full of food. <laughs> Isn't it that's easier like, to kill them now when they're like... like, you're like that's like you're saying <laughs> kill the Catholics on like Christmas. Like, come on. Get man. them before sundown. <laughs> But it's already no bananas and packets. What's this shit Diaro is doing? Those gel Evan packets? right now, just <laughs> applesauce. I mean, Evan, if we're getting demonetized, we might as well go all the way to fuck him. <laughs> we're going to get fucking kicked off. <laughs> I mean, what? We started with a Holocaust joke, and now we're going to mother. We're getting everybody. Don't worry. Oh, Asians, boy. you're next. <laughs> you're next. Anyway. All right. What's the next topic? Jesus, dude. Um, well, the only thing happening that wasn't the... even intentional. <laughs> <laughs> when I think of military, I think fucking shooting people in the Middle East. It's been like nine of our last ten wars. Real the uh, the only thing that has happened in the past twenty four hours is the blockbuster trade between the Bills and the Texans, um, which means the Jets are going to win the AFC East because Stephon Diggs is not in Josh Allen's arsenal anymore. They only got a second round pick for Diggs. I mean, is that is he really worth any more rackets? He's a they cancer, got, dude. They traded Bro, for him. They got a first round, right? They traded for him with a first. But what did he do last year? Uh, besides, what has he done the last two years? You no, know, besides cry for the ball. Now he's going to a team with two great receivers. So you could even say he's going to be the number three now. You don't think he's going to be crying for the ball with fucking Tommy's boy Tank Dell? Hey, bro, bro if, okay. If, if, he had a thousand Tom, yards last year. Let's let's. By the way, that's roll, my that's my that's my tank, Dell. Let's just roll with him being a three in that offense for like five seconds, even if He's that doesn't happen. Dumb, let's just yeah. I mean, let's just whoever roll the with him. three is, it's retarded. Let's roll with him running out of the slot. He's going to nuke everybody next year. And yeah. I don't, if he if he is going to run out of the slot, he will nuke every single fucking slot corner in that league. You're talking about Dell or you're talking football. about Dell or Diggs? Diggs. Diggs, yeah. He's one of the best route runners in football. Oh, you get Nico Collins, Stefan Diggs, and Tank Dell. They get a running back and some rap. And Dalton no Schultz. Running. Yeah. No running game, though. You need a fucking running game? Who cares? Don't run the ball. Just you fucking throw running. every play. Bro, that's what that, I would do. If you have Diggs in the slot, that's that's scary, bro. That's, like, really scary. They're going to be filthy, man. They're going to ah. be filthy. And by the way, by the way, remember who was on them first. Because next year, Bill's going to jump on their bandwagon. Oh. Remember who was the one with the Texans futures? I'm not jumping on Houston. Remember who was on him first? Right. You will be on the Texans next year. Mark oh, this. I will not. Bill, you jump on everything. You're oh, going to be on. Tommy, I like Baltimore. I think Baltimore's going to kick their ass. <laughs> I around. thought you meant the Orioles. So I was like, wait, that you just go. You just did it. They, kicked, uh, they already uh, kicked they, their ass. Do it again. Yeah, the Texans have Joe Mixon. We didn't talk about your Jets. I, didn't, I forgot that. Right. Wait, the Texans got I Mixon? They have no running game. I didn't realize they had Mixon. We didn't even talk about the Jets getting Hassan Reddick. That's we'll huge. talk about that in a second. By the way, did Texas got Mixon? When the fuck did that happen? I think that was like uh, one of the first signings they did. Uh, yeah, I was it was probably March was Madness. Team no, March Madness. Two weeks ago? Week ago. Yeah, no, I was balls deep in March Madness at that point. Yeah. Uh, no, he's not good, but he's a good uh, – listen, he's not bad. He's starting job. He's to better than Devin Singletary. Dude, you go get you go get Mixon and you go get a complimentary speed back See, I don't that you compare Singletary. with him. That's fine. 
I'm okay with. I don't hate cigarettes. They're fine. I'm mix okay and fits. That. I'm not a mixing guy, but that fits. <laughs> All right, stop fucking squeaks over there. Second, second squeak. Third one, you're out. <laughs> the, uh, get him out. Uh, Evan, what were we saying? We got Hassan right. Did you, did you, he, Bill, you gave me the stat on Hassan. It was like, it's like third leading sacks in the NFL over the last three years or some shit. Yeah. I think that's gonna help help that fucking shit ass run defense that they had. Well, I mean, yeah. Hassan Reddick's gonna help they, everything. They they got rid of one of the, Brace the best guys and then they they brought a guy in. So that know. did not land fair. Um. Tommy, your your girl's going to the WNBA. Caitlin Clark? Yeah. No. Angel? Not that other dumb fucking... Angel Reese. Dude, Is I'm getting right? attacked. You want to talk about, like, You're getting race? shit for that. <laughs> you want to talk about race war, okay? I sent a tweet out saying this game is a race war tonight. I have been called the N-word more times in the last fucking 24 hours. All, every black person oh my on my... I mean, what, what, we already got Muslims. We got the Jews. Uh, let's go after the blacks. So every black person on my Twitter bill is just calling me a cracker ass Guido, dumb ass N bomb. Like all I did was fucking state facts about Angel Reed. Nothing there was an opinion. I didn't show the pussy thing. I didn't show. I kept it classy in my opinion. I mean, let's let's That's let's, all factual. Let's, let's take. How is it racist? You fucking let's racist. Just start out at ten o'clock in the morning when everybody was on Caitlin Clark. And then at the end of the show, you know, hey, everyone's on Angel Reese. Here goes the pick: Stephen A. Smith, black, LSU, LSU, Shannon Sharp, black, LSU, LSU, Mona Mc Monica McNutt, black, LSU. <laughs> so what? What? I was what, right. What else? You? What's? I was right? right. There wasn't what a black guy want? in America who picked Iowa. One more. The only two people white that I know who picked LSU was Howie. And Hoffman. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> I liked LSU. Yeah, but I mean, dude, it was a race war, and that's what it was. And then, and now everyone's defending her, but it's great. Yeah, I think the thing's got like two hundred fifty thousand fucking views, and a uh, lot, lot of hate coming at me. I love it though. That's yeah, what I'm here for. Be controversial. Listen, unlike Angel Reese, it's fun being. If I'm gonna play the heel, I'm gonna fucking take it. Enjoy. I'm gonna sit there and cry like, yeah, oh, that's fun. Death threat. People, there's seventeen people told me to kill myself. I laughed at him. Well, you don't see me running around. Oh, I threat to death. Well, you ain't killing me. What fuck you talking about? Dogs? I've been sexualized. Yeah, I'm being sexualized <laughs> as I post fucking clay imprints of my pussy on Twitter. I want to be sexualized. Someone sexualize me. Howie, howie, sexualize Bill. Do it. You better you better hit a few more parlays, kid. <laughs> <laughs> sexualize me, baby. How we doing? How we doing? The this uh, Seton Hall just looks solid, man. I, mean, I, think, I think they're going to win this NIT. I think you're wrong. Me and you were right so far. Listen, from the beginning, you said Seton Hall to the wire. I said Indiana State to the wire, yeah. right? We're there. This is perfect because now I can hedge. We got the plus 700 on Indiana State. Howie, that's a fucking home game, dude. Yeah, it, it is. That, that stadium was rocking for Indiana it is. State. But, but. Seton Hall's got the guards, and and that's what I'm going by. I mean, this uh, this kid. I mean, Seton Hall. If they get into that tournament, that's an NC State deal. They could have easily made the Final Four. Yeah, dude. Both those teams, man. These are two the two biggest snubs. And St. Yeah. Johnson didn't play. Both these teams should have been in it. So you know, we got them right yesterday. I hit for seven units. You hit your max bet yesterday. I mean, we oh. just fucking slaying college basketball. I fucking max betted, but Bill. I swept the women's games on Monday. Swept the fucking NIT yesterday. I mean, Howie, what can we bet on? Give me something to bet on. We got to hit something. We can't lose in college basketball. Give me something. We got anything today? We got a CBI tournament or fucking... Or are we well, just talking about the, the final tournament. tomorrow? I'll tell you what. They should open up new lines on the uh, on who's uh, the transfer portal because college basketball is so beyond off the chain. Yeah. The rumors that I'm hearing at St. John's, if there's any truth to it, I mean, they're talking about the the uh, Shade kid from Houston who busted his ankle in the game. Yeah, Shad, yeah. Player of the year. And Big 12, the rumors he may end up at St. John's next year. Wow. They're talking about Bronny James, too, right? That fucking loser. Um, I, they're saying he well, might go to Duquesne, I'm hearing, because LeBron's friend coach is there or some that shit. That would make sense. That would make Duquesne sense. Duquesne seems like a place he might be able to be okay. 
But I'm surprised that LeBron doesn't try to get him to St. John's, get him playing in the garden a little bit, get him to New York. But, uh, I mean, he's garbage. He's absolute trash. But I think he may be okay at Duquesne. Yeah, somewhere like Akron or Duquesne. But yeah. I, don't think, I think that, that LeBron's coach – who coached him in high school was the coach of Duquesne, but I think he's retiring because he's got cancer. Oh, really? Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, he would do well at a low mid major. Yeah, think. he'll be okay there. That's where he belongs, right? He's not. Yeah. He's not built for a, you know, SEC, ACC, Pac-12 school. But um, you know, the situation is that Mike Rapoli, the guy that started Vitamin Water, he's worth over a billion. He's the one that buys all these horses. Um, he's got a horse in the Derby this year. But rumor is he's paying. I mean, paying. He got together with Patino, and they have an open checkbook checkbook policy right now. And I mean, I got the feeling they're going to bring in some serious players. They're talking about. Uh, Bill was just saying before. Supposedly, Angel Reese is going pro. She's going to WNBA instead of staying in college. Home oh, run, Corey Seager, one over. I saw you cheering Fucking over there. I was just going to ask you, who is it? One o who? Rangers. One o Rangers. Rangers. All right. The um. I, 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 you why know, would you do that? Well, I mean, why is this uh, Caitlin Clark, Clark leaving? Because... Well, she has to. She's graduated. Oh, she doesn't have another year? No, she's done. But the 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 other girl, the fucking uh, Angel Reese, does. Yeah, you're not going to. Bill, you follow you follow these gay sports. Well, we got gays, too. Check them off now. Um, oh I mean, God. college. We're gonna, even, we got the even Juju wasn't safe in this episode. Jews, Muslims, gays, black. I mean, we hit Juju like three times. We hit Juju like three times in that. <laughs> I still love you, Juju. It's not me, baby. It's not me. <laughs> no, women's women's college sports. That's that's where you want to stay. You can make way more money. Right, right. You're gonna make five million in NIL, or you're gonna make two hundred ten thousand yeah. dollars in the WNBA. Like, what the how fuck? About, how about what? What do you do if you're the new coach coming in at Florida Atlantic? <laughs> they just lost their whole team. I mean, they lost their whole team. They lost the best coach in the country. And why did he go to Michigan? That seemed like a weird move for Dusty May. I mean, it's a move up. To you. It's a move up, but he had he had carte blanche. He could have fucking gone to like at Michigan State or someone like why Michigan? I mean, I mean, they have they got a lot of money. I mean, that's you should be able to get some players in there. Um, nobody wanted to play under uh, uh, who was it, Howard? Oh uh, yeah, Jawan Howard's terrible. Yeah. But I mean, where, where's this kid Golden gonna end up, man? I mean, I love him. I love him. Let me see. Uh, uh, he he wants to stay in college. He's got to uh, stay, right? I mean, it's it's so beyond bizarre what's going on. Rutgers basically lost their starting five. They brought in two McDonald's All Americans next year, but you know that Clifford O'Murray. He's he's leaving. He's in the portal. I don't know why so many of these kids go out so early. I mean, it doesn't make sense. Then they get lost in the NBA. I mean, you gotta be you gotta be a fucking lottery pick or else you don't go out until you're until you are one or you're pushed out. No, for the most part, yeah. I you mean you guys are going out, it's like the fifty eighth pick of the draft, and then they die in the G League. But I mean, Florida Atlantic lost John L. Davis. What he averaged like twenty a game. They lost yeah. Golden. They lost everybody. Yeah. Yeah. That's they're gonna be in trouble. Um so we like – I like Indiana State. You like Seton Hall. Let's see where yeah. the line is. Let's see how it's moving. This is tomorrow, guys. We're not going to be on air here. Seton Hall was plus two and a half. So, um, yeah, it well, looks like well, Indiana State – you actually have a three hanging out out there, it looks like, uh, at DraftKings, I believe, if one of you guys want to check that. Um, you got a problem here, Dewey, with Seton Hall. Line open at plus one and a half. It's up to plus three with 89% of the money on Seton Hall. That line's going the wrong way. It is, but this is a fi- this is a final game. Um, it's nationally televised. I I, I just got to – I can't bet against Kadari. What better right? way would it be to end the NIT season than the way we start every season and continue every season where I take the money line, you take plus three, three and a half, and we end up with a two-point win? Yeah. I mean, that's what happens all the time when we're opposite. So let's yeah. see if we can get it again. Indiana State by one. That's it. Indiana State by one to three. I think that line gets up to three and a half the way it's moving. But – um. All right, Howie, anything else on uh, college hoops? We'll be back on here Friday to talk a little bit more about NC State and Alabama and all that. But There's just tons of coaching changes going on right now. I mean, I don't know if Musselman's going to stay there. Uh, at Arkansas, uh, they're talking about Chris Beard possibly coming. There's just – within the next week, especially this weekend, during the Final Four, there's going to be so much uh, change in college basketball. It's still happening with college football right now. You got guys in college football going everywhere. I mean, we'll get into that later, but uh, 
you want a future bet. Bet Syracuse to win the ACC in football next year. Bet it now because I think it's plus, might be plus 12, 1300, but they got an all-star team coming in there. Well, let me yeah. see. Let me see if they have it up. Um, you know who else has a fucking bunch of weapons coming in is Auburn. Auburn's got a receiving core for fucking days. They got like yeah. fucking five of the top 18 wide receivers in the country going there next year. Great, Great coach. Uh, let me see. NCAA futures. What do we want here? But Syracuse has like leagues. That's a, no. They got the second string quarterback from Ohio State. Mm -hmm. A bunch of monsters that played in the SEC. Um, They must be allowing that. Uh, garbage guy, that waste management guy to pay players. That must be it because they got tons of people going to Q's next year. Yeah, I don't so know. you're on. So we'll we'll give our not too early early predictions, or way too early early predictions. Yeah. <clears throat> you're on Syracuse as your sleeper team next year. I'm on K State as my sleeper. I think uh, Avery Johnson's going to win the Heisman over there at K State. We got a glimpse of him in the bowl game, and he just straight fucking whipped his dick out, smacked it on everyone's face who came near him. So. He's solid. He's a kid. He's a good kid. So those are our two, uh, not too, way too early, early predictions. Do you got a Heisman hopeful at Syracuse there that we could stab at? Because I do. Quarterback. I mean, the quarterback coming in was a five star. I believe he was a four or five star recruit out of high school. Went to Ohio State. Uh, and uh, is Kyle McCord? Yeah, and he's a cute. Yeah. I mean, they, he should be on the board. Supposedly they got some weapons for him. Um, you know, that's got to be the worst and toughest place to play. Is that? For football, that shit. Ah, that's, that's horrible. Yeah, I mean, Avery Johnson's down to thirty five hundred. He's actually top twenty for the for the Heisman. Now. He's right under Cam Rising, same price. And it looks like McCord is plus twenty thousand. If you want to take a stab at that, I mean that's you know, you know, and uh, you know, last thing I'll I say, like Peyton Thorne. My boy Todd loves that uh, at Auburn because all the weapons he's got plus twenty thousand also for McCord. He's got he's got. They have some they have some guys coming in there. Um yeah. I mean that coach. Uh, he had a hell of a year for his first year. Yeah. Taking over. No. Um, but, yeah, it, we keep up on these things, and uh, and I think there'll be some solid future situations. All right. We'll, we'll keep tapping into it. How we do it? You're going to be around for horse racing, too, all summer, too, I'm yeah. hearing. So. Absolutely, man. We'll bring you out for the horse. We'll bring you out for the derby. All right, brother. We'll talk to you on Friday, bro. Yes, we sir. might be on Twitter spaces Friday, just so you know. Awesome. How we horses, huh? How we um, horses. Were you giddying up there? Were you? Got the Derby in three weeks. I like it. Come on, Bill. Come on, Bill. <laughs> I liked it when they ride their carts. Use the yeah. whip. <laughs> Cracking the whip. <laughs> That's racist. Where's Hoff? We got to bring Hoff on. Yeah, bring Hoffman on. I'm sitting back there fucking rotting yesterday. Reading but... every single magazine in the waiting room. Hey, what's up, <laughs> DJ BJ? Yeah, it only took you like 10 years to find that was your That was your fucking punishment for getting fucking... <laughs> He's got oh, Hoffman Hollywood. just sitting there yesterday for fucking an hour Fuck and a half. Fuck him. That's his punishment. Uh, guy, tortured, guy tortured me about Duke all I was fucking sitting year. here the whole time, Rackets. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking 45 bowls, reading every magazine. Show, I, didn't even, I didn't even smoke because I didn't know what I was going to come on, so I didn't want to be coughing. <laughs> so I was just sitting here. <laughs> At the end of the show, Bill's like, wait, we forgot to bring Hoffman on. You want to bring him on says, now? Like, it, does, it doesn't even let you watch the show either. It just says, like, it just starts spinning. It just says waiting <laughs> yeah. room. I'm watching it on my stupid phone. <laughs> it's fucking retarded. All right, listen, you're doing the same thing Duke's doing right now, sitting back and watching everyone else play, baby boy. Watching. So how did you it's feel like about a freaking uh, crazy team? I mean, listen, you do have an NC State future, I'm assuming, with the rest of us, right? The Tommy, the Tommy G gift to the world. So it may be better. Like, what would you rather have? $40,000. I'm being serious. As, a, as probably the biggest Duke fan I know. And didn't expect Duke to go this far, right? Like you thought, well, we might, we may fucking steal this championship, right? He already like, won a thirty-four thousand dollar parlay. You just you know won thirty. Is going to be. I don't know. <laughs> Would you rather have Duke win the national championship this year and knock off UConn, or NC State win and you get forty thousand dollars? I mean, I'll take NC State because next year Duke's winning it all. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, <you're laughs> Airbnb. Better watch take some, out. Take some State. of that forty and put it on Duke right now. A uh, tsunami is coming next year. You better be careful. You like you like don't the care about any Howie's transfer portal. Anyone can go anywhere you want, go wherever you want. It doesn't. It's not going to matter. It's going to be Rutgers versus Duke. That's what's going to be. Rutgers, huh? Yeah. Wow. Whoa. Look at you. All right. I'm going to write that down. 
<laughs> Buckers, do. Hoffman's really good at these, by the way. He predicted the Detroit Lions to lose in the national NFC Championship. Game. Hoffman's one of the best I, futures. Hoffman, Hoffman's the best crazy future guy in the world. So uh, I'm gonna write that down. Rutgers versus in Duke. a company with a lot of really good futures betters. I mean, dude, one of the best ones. That's what's insane. I'm pretty good too. So uh, not too bad. I'm pretty fucking good. No, you suck. Um. <laughs> Bill's just gonna say I don't tie my money up that long. Fuck you. <laughs> I just win the pools. He, he calls out his pool shots. Bill did dominate the. the he did dominate. He did dominate. Yeah. How we didn't want to give him credit. I got it. I don't want to give him credit either. But okay, very dominant. I'm still gonna be the only person who gets the correct finals: North Carolina State and UConn. So I'm gonna take that as a win because if it would have been a factorial 11 seed multiplier, multiplier, multiplier. I'd have fucking smacked Bill up. Smacked him up. I don't know. <laughs> NC State alone would have beat your bracket. How what? much would they have cost you in a Calcutta? Nothing. They were an underdog game one. Oh, Nothing. Man. I would have crushed you missed the Calcutta. your calling, Tommy G. I mean, dude, I'm the Calcutta god. I got to start doing those high money. I haven't found a high money one like that. One year, I put $20,000 into it and won $94,000 and had the whole final four. They don't do those in Cheetah Vegas. and Pizzola and all those guys. They don't do those in Vegas? Like the casinos don't host. I didn't. Things. I didn't see any, and if they are, they were done before oh, I got there. So. But no, this was like these were like underground, right? I think like, and they were like, it was my first Calcutta ever. And I remember I went in there. I bought five teams, and I got the exact final four. Um, and you know, Rob, it was Rob Brink, Rob Pizzola, Sports Cheetah, you know, all those guys, all the big name betting guys. And they were just like, "What is this fucking kid doing?" Like, if I wanted a team, I was just taking it, right? Like it was because you can go as high as you want. They're like Villanova was one of them. There was right, like, but right. I just figured like being an 11 seed, like they couldn't have cost no, anything. Cost, and it depends on the person. It would have cost nothing, dude. Not like underdogs in the first round cost nothing, absolutely nothing. But uh, I, did, I would have had them, and I'd be fucking skull fucking. But uh, anywho, uh, what we got going on in the association here, Hoffman? Obviously, Bill's going to tell us that every game's a must win today. So I'm going to go to you first. Are they must win? Warriors last night. Told must. you on the show. Yeah, the Warriors. I, like I hit them live. I hit them live. I jumped on it with you. They uh, must win. They uh, I was scared for them because they were at home, but Steph told the team maybe they should uh, start staying in hotels when they play at home to feel like they're on the road. Yeah. So bad at home. Listen, I mean, you got to try anything you can. There's no way they actually did that. I, Rackets, I really don't know what <laughs> he told the team. <laughs> there's no, oh, there's no I will way. tell you this, though. If something sounds crazy, Bill will believe it. Oh yeah, you put I mean, it on tick. It's a he's Ron Burgundy at TikTok. You put that on TikTok. <laughs> Bill's gonna read it. Oh, like, I, I, I Golden waiting. State stayed in the hold hotel. On, hold today. on, hold on, hold on. I've been waiting. I've been waiting to tell you, but yeah, I wanted to do it a month. It's been three weeks. Over, you looked at me. Hold on, over three weeks. I'm interested now. I have gotten rid of all of my TikToks. I am not. On TikTok, what? Oh, no way! Over, Cap. over three Cap. weeks. No way! Cap. I've been you know waiting for. You know what's month. funny? Hold on, I've been hold waiting. on. Hold on. I've here. been waiting for a month. But since you said every time you mentioned TikTok, I and when you sent me that thing yesterday, I had to open it. Like, but Get a little feisty. I don't have an account, and I am not on TikTok. I've deleted everything. It's gotten. It's gotten crazy. It's gotten stupid. Uh, I am officially done with TikTok. I wow. hope I might even be out there when in the government to ban that fucking thing. <laughs> I have totally flipped TikTok. You're out. Hold on. Oh, Hoff, I want to see Evan's reaction. Hoff, Evan, Hoff, you... Let me put you down for one second. Yeah. Evan, get up here for a second. Evan, Evan, I need Evan. Oh, we'll face. bring it right back. We'll bring it right back, huh? Just go sit in the waiting room. You're used to it back there. <laughs> <laughs> What is happening, Evan? <laughs> Evan, what is going on? What do you mean, what is going on? Have Bill? Bill deleted TikTok? He's he's capping for real. <laughs> I am not. I swear, I swear. I swear on You're Jenna. Big. Hold on. I swear on Jenna. Let's I see. swear on my mom and dead mom and dad. I have see, not been when, on it. I've deleted all actually, my. Actually, hold on. I'm just. I'm raising my hand now. I'm doing Baphomet. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'll do Satanists. it. Satanists. Get them all. I will say when Bill flips on something, he goes 180 completely the other Dude. way. Go ahead. Go ahead, Tommy. Go I ahead. will say, okay, in his defense, the reason I believe this to be true, I talk to Bill more than anyone on the planet, okay? He's never paying attention when you talk to him because he's on TikTok. All 
he has been oddly attentive for the last two weeks. <laughs> like, I'll talk to him and he'll answer me. I won't have to go, yo, fucking asshole. Like, I was on it too much. I was found myself at three, four in the morning, still like awake. And it like, took you three and a half years of that to realize and, that was. And, and, and I've been and, telling you this for fucking three and years. And the weirdos, the weirdos on TikTok were messaging me and fucking weird women and Are you weird up in a guys. You women want to fuck me. Guys want to fuck me. <laughs> I thought you wanted to be sexualized. <laughs> people I mean, want to beat. <laughs> you just said you wanted to be. Sexual. And people want to beat me up <laughs> and all this shit. So. Fucked up, <laughs> and it's fucking. Dead. Are you running from TikTok to something? Yeah, what happened, happened bro? People, they they let, you had a bad they let experience. These fucking, they let these homeless people. Did you, did you fucking, catch a tranny in the fucking? DM they let these homeless people. They let oh, these homeless people. Whoever they want on there, beg for money. But then when this fucking poor kid is in his fucking car. You know, living in his car, fucking for a week, and he's posting it. He's not even asking for money, and they ban him for a week. Fuck, Fuck you, TikTok. Whoa. Fuck you. All you are is bullshit videos and fucking homeless people begging for money and bullies. Fuck you. You do control I mean, your algorithm. You know that, right? I'm out. <laughs> your algorithm. <laughs> You know what no, I did do? I controlled my algorithm. You want to delete your account? Yes. <laughs> Thirty days to fucking reinstate it? No. I'm out. I had like I mean, dude, oh dude, I had, I had, I had I eight accounts. Welcome to our sports show. All right. Oh like right. gone. I mean, listen. So all I have to say is he's very passionate about. I this. mean, this kid. <laughs> like, you know how they say. He's as passionate about hating it as he was about loving it for the last three years. You know how we say rackets all the time, like the difference between the truth and a conspiracy is six to 18 months. But Bill is literally just on a six to 36 month lag of me. <laughs> Whatever I say or do within six to 36 months, Bill will be on my team. He sounds like me to him for the last three years, right? 2020. Uh, yeah. Well, Bill, welcome to reality. I appreciate you. And uh, bravo, that's awesome. We're very proud of you. Down with the talk. Down with the talk. <laughs> Back with the Hoff. No down with the talk. Down with the talk, up with the Hoff. Maybe our last episode ever on YouTube. Oh, I love YouTube. I'm a big, I'm a big oh, YouTube, YouTube has to love this. I'm on YouTube videos. Oh, so God. Now he's just going to swap he out fucking things. Yeah, he's literally going to Instagram I mean, reels. He's literally like, I'm done with fucking but sex. I'm going YouTube, straight for blowjobs. Hold on. I told you yesterday, Tom. <laughs> right to soaking. YouTube's got a great game. They let you do a short for like a minute Actually, or so. Hold on. I would, hold on. Hold on. Let, me, let me pause you. Let me pause you. I just need to say YouTube algorithm if you're listening. I know you heard a lot of shit that was bad for the last hour. <laughs> I really want you, YouTube algorithm, to pay attention to this testimonial from Bill Rupp, YouTube algorithm. Go, Bill. YouTube lets you do a short. So and then like YouTube. We love there, YouTube. They say, go to my 23-minute video if you want to see what happens. And then you go to the video, and you subscribe. And I love it. So you will, you will get rid of every app except YouTube because it's the best. YouTube is the best. Down with the talk. Down with the talk. Team YouTube. Hoffman, who are we betting in NBA tonight? <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. I don't know what just happened to you there. I'm on, I'm on the Suns. I like the Suns. Yeah, I like the Suns. That's like you're the, hot as the sun right now. I mean, you're yeah. on fire. Oh, you know what I want to talk? What about Tommy and, and fucking Glenn? Why are you coming at me now? Why are you coming at me now? <laughs> Tommy, what the fuck right? did I do? He's not the doc. No, because you said the doc again, right? They're one game over 500 since Glenn came in. They <laughs> <stopped>. <laughs> Glenn. You started Doctor calling again. him doc again. He's Glenn. He doc sucks. Rivers. Yeah, doc. One game Oh, uh, uh, hold on, hold on. You want to know who sucks? And they got spanked by you the Wizards. Guys. Guys, did I not tell you that your Knicks were going to be a five seed? Tommy, we got fucking the two best players. Two, nah. of, two of the three best players on the team have been out. Nah. Well, I mean, guess what? Hoffman's going to have a problem because right now it is staging up. And it looks like it's pretty solid as long as the Cavs can win a couple more games. Hoffman, Magic Knicks is your worst nightmare. No, nah, we'll be there. We'll those, no, but those are your two Randall, favorite teams. Yeah, Mad well, Magic is... Yeah, but whatever. Magic, yeah, but Randall, Magic is your adopted team. The Knicks are your fucking main team. How do you get yeah, Randall, your... Randall and OG are done, so. They're trash anyway. 
Oh, okay. OG's been hurt every minute of his career. Stop it. Well, well, he wasn't when he was dominating on the Knicks. Well, you know who's going to be dominating? Tommy G and his bet versus you two fucking idiots. I have two starters out, dude. Those bets are null and void. Oh, no, the they're not. Now? Oh, no, they're not. Because, Bill Rupp, if you read the fine print that Hoffman made me put in, we had a Brunson and Giannis clause and no one else. So since you fucked me on my Aaron Rodgers over nine and a half, Ooh. you're when I lost Aaron Rodgers. Disclaimers. Rogers, coming back at you. Karma universe circling like a tornado and going to swoop your house up and hey, slam well, it. Wait, First Bill, all, do you like the I might let you off the hook, Hoffman, the but walking, you're fucking on the hook, the Bill. Walking is trash. Tommy, they just lost to the Wizards. <laughs> just need him to get. Just need Are they coming back for the playoffs or no? What? And, well, and, and, and their worst nightmare just happened because Embiid just came back and dropped 24 last night. Well, That's yeah. more worrisome than anything, to be honest with you. I mean, the worrisome part is that the fucking Heat and the Sixers are the 7-8 seed, and I think they're the two most dangerous teams out of the top fucking eight. I mean, if I'd rather play the Cavs like, than the Heat or the Sixers. If the Knicks, let be, let's be honest, if the Knicks and, uh, and Philadelphia and who else – uh, didn't have injuries, the Milwaukee would be like the sixth seed. No. Okay. It would not. But uh, what I will say is I don't want to play the Heat in the first round, which may happen. I mean, why? They lost in the first round last year. They're going to lose in the first round again. I don't like that. Glenn is trash, dude. Glenn's trash. We leave Glenn alone. All right. Uh, so we're on the Suns tonight. Hoff, what do you like? I like the Suns and the Pacers. That's yeah, I like, the, I, I like the Pacers also. You want to parlay those? The Suns are minus two thirty-five. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm I'm parlaying. I'm doing a cross sport again. I'm not going to do baseball, but I'm doing uh, the Rangers. You don't learn your lesson, Bill Rob. I you guys like my. Do you guys like my sweatshirt? No one's commented on it. The only one I make mix it with baseball. Yes, so rackets. So I do like Rangers, it. Thank you, thank you, Rackets. Rangers and Suns. Uh, Rangers are one point up, I believe, on the Bruins. Uh, Tommy, do you know? Let's just – hold on real fast. Look at the NHL standings, right? I'm heading there right now for you. The Bruins have 44 wins. By the way, Evan Hand, Bruins win yesterday. Let's go. Big win, big win, big win. Big win, big win. How do they go from, like, the the record-setting team last year to 44 wins? Evan Hand. Uh, Patrice Bergeron. Evan Hand. By by winning uh, 17 games in overtime. Did I finish? Go on. (laughs) (laughs) Rangers, actually... <laughs> Rangers are one point up on the Bruins, right? Right. The Rangers have 50 wins. I know. The Bruins have 44 wins. You get one point every time you go to overtime. That's why Bruins yep. like fucking just stockpile. Dude, the Bruins are literally four points up on the Panthers with three less wins in if their own division. Over, how many in their own division. Have? They have they have 103 points, the but they have 44 wins. But six so, less wins. Yeah, yeah. They have 15 Man. overtime losses. Yeah, it's the overtime games, honestly. Well, not even overtime games. They've lost 15 games, right? So if you didn't do this new last 10-year you know, point for overtime, they would literally have 32 losses right now. They have 15 overtime losses. Those are the Islanders. Those are the only Rangers two. Rangers have four overtime losses. So if you did the old-school calculations, the Rangers would be 50 and 24, and the Bruins would be 44 and 32. And the Bruins are above them. Like, Bruins are, listen, I don't know. Maybe it'll help them play in so many close games come playoffs. Maybe it's going to kill them because they'll be more tired and uh, shows they can't pull away from anyone. But listen, I still think the Rangers win the cup. They That means, like, the the Bruins have played, like, what, well, let's say, like, three games more, four games more than ever. Uh, yeah, five minutes per. Yeah. Crazy, but, right? Yeah. They played, played this, next... That Hurricanes team is very scary. That yeah. team dangerous with those two new guys they got yeah they are. hurricanes are gone i mean listen i think this is rangers i think this is canes i like my panthers still in the east i think those are the three teams to watch in the east and the west is wide open dude i mean you can make a case for vegas you make a case for edmonton vancouver colorado i like the predators you make a case for dallas and west is wide fucking open but i think in the east i think in the east is rangers canes if i had to if i had to make a pick rangers and the suns tonight plus 112 um that's where I'm going. Rangers get only one point up. They got to win tonight. Uh, must win game. Must win game, Bill. It's a, it's a monster. I think DraftKings had a thing for like first goal scorer in that game. They're at home. They're playing the Devils, so they got to they got to win tonight. They got to score. They got to win. They Let's will. Go. Suns, same thing. Must win situation. Must win. Got to win. Got to win. 
Love it, just like the Warriors last night. Got to win. My other amazing bet that I found. Awesome bet. Is not in. Is okay. Stanton, uh, two strikeouts per game. He's done per game, that. Per game for the rest yeah, of the year. He's not That's starting it. today. He's out of the line. Not starting, so we can't do it again. But it was still great uh, information. What? Next game he starts. Hit it. They're going to give you still plus money. Um, we're going to take it. Echoing me every time I talk. I don't okay, like sorry. it. Sorry. Bro, I was. I won't do so, it Aaron, remember when we were talking about Aaron Hicks the other day? This was like last week. No, only you talk about Aaron Hicks. Only no, Bill. me and Bill were talking about him. Yeah, no, uh, you were talking about You probably forced Bill to talk about him. No, Bill was talking about him. With, with Bill, who guy. brought up Aaron Hicks? I think I did. I'm like, oh, Rackets, he was up. Because yeah. Rackets was here and you with wanted to st- fucking, you knew he was the only person I wanted to talk about. Whatever, man. Uh, he was 0 for 6 on the season with five strikeouts. DraftKings was still giving the plate appearances for his strikeouts at plus 100. Check out his plate appearances every time he comes to the plate. If you're gonna get plus money or even near like minus one ten, literally take it every time. He, mm-hmm. I think he, he, uh, I don't know if he was, if he struck out yesterday, but um, we know you're a big. A good we know you're a big Aaron Hicks guy. I know Stanton did struck out his first two at bats of the game. Often, yeah. often. Before we let you go, give me a give me a pick on Indiana State versus Seton Hall, and give us a little tidbit on what you think is gonna happen in the Final Four. Uh, Indiana State is gonna win, and UConn is gonna beat everyone by probably fifteen points. And Probably the other thing is, you have about a week before you really have to start playing beat the streak. I have a week before what? You have to actually like start playing beat the streak. Oh, oh no, I, I usually start me. I, no, I put I put mine. Uh, in today. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the lead in like two days. And Hoff, listen, he's last year already I telling start. me off. He's already telling me because I've <laughs> told him. He's like, oh, this is bullshit. <laughs> I gotta go. Bit. I gotta go through all these steps. It's like nine today. steps. I'm not <laughs> even gonna do it. <laughs> Bill, it is it all. is more difficult this year. All than- right, so let me explain something. Hoff's been teammates with me for years. Going back to Guru Elite, we're teammates something, right? For years, me and Hoff been teammates. I look like I'm not trying, but right when I need to step up, I step up every time and get us to win. Hoff is going to run out. He's going to beat all of you. And then uh, and Racket's going to start talking shit to me. I'm going to be at like four. <laughs> Racket's going to be at nine. And then I'm going to get mad like last year and run off like 18 well, in Racket- a row and then just <laughs> smack you. We'll Rackets like the picks percentage, and yours is like 33 right now. Yeah, I'd fucking like. <laughs> I do like the pick percentage. If, if you look at mine, because I, I do all last year, I was getting a seven and eight lose, seven and eight <laughs> lose, yeah, yeah, seven yeah. and eight lose. But here's the thing with me: if you Fuckers. look at most of my picks, they're both on the same team because I forget till 10 o'clock, and I'm like, oh, Freeman yeah, bets. Exactly. <laughs> like that's Freeman bets. Like that's what happens every time. It is don't painful worry. to get to this year, though. It's it is fun. annoying to get to, and don't worry, we will win, and I will, I will be right there with you, Hoffman, making sure of it. So, uh, all right, Hoff Daddy. Would uh, NC State beat Purdue or not? Yeah, I think they will. All right, let's go. I, I like honestly it. think they had a be- they have a better chance to beat them than Duke did anyway. So it doesn't yeah. matter. All right, all right, Hoff. Go. Uh, you want to hang out in the waiting room or you want to go home? Whatever you want. I'll go wherever I want. All right, let's hang out in the waiting room. All right, maybe we'll call you back in. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel so bad about yesterday. <laughs> Bill, you didn't even remember. That was your job to remember. That was yours. I think Evan remembered. I remembered. I didn't, bro. You guys were at, I had 32 text messages on that thread, but I was busy yesterday. I didn't, I got home. You're a big of flower boxes. Show, pound in boxes. The show started, and then I looked. Oh, at hold on. Wait a minute. This is why handyman Bill came around, racket. So I'm sitting here going, Bill's like building everything all of a sudden to the point where I have a monster garage, right, Bill? My garage is huge. My driveway is huge. My backyard is nice. I got a monster deck. I'm like, Bill, I want to start doing some stuff. I want to fucking build a birdhouse and make some stained glass and fucking make some TikToks. We'll set up some cameras and we'll do like me and Bill's Saturday at the I'm house. YouTube. He shut it YouTube. down. Some YouTube. Sorry, not TikToks. YouTubes. YouTubes, not TikTok. No, he didn't shut it down. He's all for it. He's like, I'll drive up there. I'll bring my table saw. We'll get this. I'm like, we'll go shopping. We're going to build a work area. And me and Bill are going to do a little fucking home improvement show in the garage basically going to be bill building shit and me just fucking putting sandwiches on top of it yeah but i'm sitting there wondering why bill got so handy lately and it's because there's no tiktok there's no tiktok and that's what's happening he learned all of his trades from watching tiktok and now he He doesn't watch anymore and now he can use it i have so much more free time what did I tell you? This is doing to your life. With, you became oh, a different person. But he needed it in in order to or, to get some more extra knowledge. Like there's learned, learned a lot of shit on TikTok. Hold on. It's I did learn a lot, but it's <laughs> when the weather is nice, dude. It's probably all there I'm, on YouTube too. Don't worry. When the weather is nice, I'm outside. I'm outside. Wow. Well, yeah, you were last summer. You were like this. Even if it's just me <laughs> sitting outside, like I'm outside. I'm doing backyard work, right, well, backyard work, everywhere. building shit. I'm outside. 
I right. walk outside. All right. Someone said did Hoffman even give out a bed? <laughs> oh no, who cares? Um, let's see. Did Hoffman give out a bed? I think he did. Suns and pa- Pacers. Pacers, Pacers, Suns. Uh, let's talk some baseball here, boys. Uh, not as much to talk about, so we're fucking around a lot today because this show literally is going to be rain delay, rain delay, rain delay, cancellation, cancellation, cancellation. Uh, the Baltimore Orioles, Kansas City Royals game. Basically, just every 20 minutes, they back it up 20 minutes, Rackets. Is that what they're doing here? Just there's, Now it's going to start at 3.15. Now it's going to start at 3.30. Uh, is this Draft game going to fucking play? I have no idea. DraftKings says 3.30, but who knows? Yeah, it, it, when we got on the show, it was fucking one thirty, then 2. I mean, it was 1 then o'clock. 2.30, yeah. then 3, now 3.30. Just make it 4 o'clock. Make it fucking time. Um, but we like the Orioles, right, guys? We all like Burnsy on the mound on our our, our beloved Orioles who Rackets yep. stole from us. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. how it went. That's how it is. All right. Yep. Um, uh, Orioles. I'm on the Rangers right now. They're already up one nothing uh, in the eighth. Um, I should have bet the Brewers again today. I was gonna bet the Brewers again today too, and I just didn't want to be paying attention to two games. I can't the wait until the Brewers start five and zero. Oh. Bill starts batting, they go on probation, and Bill's gonna block them for two months like he did last year. Remember, you yeah. banned the Brewers like for like Early way too. too long. For yeah, like yeah. they had like a bad week, and you just lost your shit for like three Ow. months. Can't fuck me like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Angels, Marlins, the Marlins just are fucking cannot get out of their own way. Down six two to the fucking Halos, about to go. A lot of runs. They just don't. They don't. They keep letting runs up. You're up six already in the first five innings to the Halos. Um, are you? The got, real question is, are you going back to the Oakland A's today? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm actually on the Red Sox today. Uh, like the Red Sox. Listen, today. listen. The, 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 I've been saying this for a long time, Rackets. In betting, there should be difficulty points, right? There really I should have got, be. I should have got difficulty points for that last night because that you was an amazing you, call. You were getting plus money. That is your difficulty. Yeah, yeah no, but I mean, but, but... To, to have them go to extras, blow it 17. They were only like, plus 140, though. It wasn't like they really should have been have like, been. you know what, Tommy? Here's like 30% back just for a great bet. You were the only person in America. That's why you got a hedge. Nah, fuck that. We fucking ride or die. Let the balls That's hang. That's your fault. Yeah, Bill would have hedged that. Bill would have, Bill would have fucking been out in the first inning when there was two nothing. They were losing. He would have hedged out for a loss. Fuck yeah, would have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yankees D backs today, boys. Uh, listen, I like the over a lot again here. I don't trust Rodon. I know he looked okay. Didn't look great. Numbers looked good, but I think there's going to be runs here today. Merrill Kelly looked great. You're talking about a guy what two oh eight and one point three five ERAs. Gallon looked awesome last. Gallon looked like really good, and the Yankees. Gallen, I like. Good. I like when teams don't score, taking them the next night. You know, should be motivated there in Arizona. Obviously, big time change west, east to west. Oh, Arizona almost got us that over yesterday by themselves. They really did. They really did. We we're one swing away. That fucking uh, sinking liner off. Uh, who was it? Whoever bats after. Uh, who was it? The sinking line drive at the end of the game. Uh, I forget it was. Anyway, I was anyway. the Dodgers at that point. That, like, that ball looked like it was down. That ball gets down. That's, that's two runs. Nestor Cortez has got to fucking figure it out, dude. He's first game. There's your must start. There's your must play, like must pitch well in that star because he's yeah. been fucking. Now trash. we're getting. Now we're right. getting to that point. It's right. been like one one inning though. It's one it's inning. The first inning. It's bad, the first inning. And then he's fucking fine. So yes, it's first inning. Two in a row now. But uh, yeah, we got to take a run in the yeah, I first. Like your, I like the. I like the over. I don't hate the Yankees today, but I like the over a little bit. I just I listen. Those are my two favorite teams right now. Right, snakes, snakes, snake, make you slip and shake, and the Yankees. So. I'm staying off. I'm just betting overs. We should have had it last night easily. Volpe cost us like fucking seven runs. The guy was fucking everywhere. The he fucking really Spicky Marino. Everywhere. The guy was fucking all over the He's place. He's leading, leading baseball and hitting right now, too. I mean, it's, it should be leading him a gold glove, too. He made like six plays last night that cost us runs. So, uh, didn't catch the over on that one. That kind of sucked. We got Christian Walker home run, which saves us there. Uh, flip, 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 Adelphia versus the Reds. Do have a weird line movement here. We got about 90% of the money coming in on the flips. And we have Montas looked really Mine's good in that a little first bit. start, man. He looked. I, I tagged Bill after it. He went six shut. I think he had. I think it was four hits and six strikeouts. Like he, he looked good. Mm-hmm. We, we like ending there. I don't know if I'm betting it, but be wary if you're if you're on the Philly side. I'm not touching that game. I'm yeah, nowhere. Just, I'm nowhere near. It. Yeah. I I don't love the Reds, but I, I we like the Reds this year. It seems like we're all kind of high on the Reds a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I just meant today. Like I don't love yeah, betting Philly's them starting today, off but, slow. Wheelers, yeah. Wheelers always, you know, solid. Um, that, one's, that one's Mariners, Guardians. I'm just gonna assume we're all staying off that. Um, Cardinals, Padres. I actually like the Pods today. I like Musgrove in this spot. I'm not a Thompson guy. I don't think Thompson's that good, and I think Musgrove should bounce back after 
pretty horrible fucking uh, first start he had there. What did he give about five runs and in four innings or some shit? Um, I like the Padres long term. First two I, starts. Yeah, I like the Padres long term this year. I'm not on him today. I don't I don't like the Cardinals either, but I just not on that game. I'm all over Goldschmidt today. Um, oh, yeah. Dominated Musgrove, uh, I think, in like 31 appearances. Oh, yeah, I just saw that. Or, or, well, I saw your bet. I saw all your bets. Still, Tim. I saw so, none of your bets. I think your bets. I up. am taking him. So, in case Musgrove pitches around him, I'm going to take the walk for plus 155. I like to do that. Oh, we got to start betting that again. I like that walk stat. I'm going to take Goldschmidt over one and a half hits, runs, and RBIs, minus 115. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to put a little bit, not, not a whole unit. I'm going to break it up. Goldschmidt for two, two plus RBIs is 600 and three plus RBIs is 2,100. Mm. Like a quarter of a unit. on. You the can top. really dance. 2,100 and like a half a unit on the 600. But the walk with plus money, 155 and the hitch runs RBIs one and a half at minus 115. He does really eviscerate Musgrove. Huh? About 540 yeah. and like I said, I think if Musgrove, pitches around him like like he should then we have the walk at plus money at plus 155 should we do home run calls every day mm. keep track i mean i had the highest odds yesterday so if i'm taking a guy i'm taking goldschmidt that's what i'm taking today but let's let's do it every day should we do it every day or just do it tuesday what do you think evan just tuesday just tuesday all right yeah it's dinger tuesday all right dinger tuesday i'm gonna get one out today anyway um all right, so you are because he has one in mind. He's putting the pressure that's on. That's why right. I wanted to do it. I wanted to pressure you when I already did research. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. But I figured you were going to do Goldschmidt, Bill. Like, if that's if you said it, I would go say Goldschmidt. But I don't, right now, I have. A... I'm going to say it. So here's what we're going to do. We're only going to do it on dinner, dinner Tuesday until. But right now, we're going to do it every day until we're going to do an elimination chamber. So we all advance to day two. Let's all pick a game today, and then whoever advances. Can go to day three. Go for three days. I already have three of them. <laughs> <laughs> Brackets gets a, a bite them Tuesday. <laughs> all right. So we're all going to pick one today, too. And then whoever advances, because obviously we're going to hit at least one of them because we're the best. Uh, we'll see. Either to crown the new Dinger champ. So every Dinger Tuesday, we'll do this. So uh, we all advanced past Dinger Tuesday. So Bill Rupp, you're going to go with Goldschmidt today? Uh, Yes. Okay. Uh, I am going to go with your dong. I think your Don Alvarez goes fucking Yahtzee today. Uh, let me just see what the weather is. Yeah. He's got some pretty good splits too, I think, uh, in that matchup for his pass it. Yeah, I like your mm. He looks good. Let me see. Your Don. Yeah, that's in the dome. That's in Houston. Yeah, I'm going to go your Don. Bill's going to go Goldie and Rackets. Who's hitting three home runs today? Oh, I could man. stall you for a minute and give a better two while you look at it. I'm going to go with Mookie. Okay. I like Mookie tonight. Got that, Evan? Kyle Harrison. I don't have the odds. Ah, you I don't can. have the odds either. I'll find you it. You guys can figure them out. Um, Mookie's I'll find mine. Go on FanDuel. It's better on, better odds on FanDuel, by the way. Yeah, like yesterday, yesterday Walker was 370 on DK, and he was 480 mine's, on FanDuel. Mine's 470. Oh, I got, yeah, he was uh, – Bill was, tried to tell me that Walker wasn't 480. MGM had the best ones. Hoffman got uh, 525 on Harper. I said yesterday he was on DraftKings, Tommy. I didn't say FanDuel. You tried to tell me. On FanDuel, I said DraftKings. We almost bet on it. Alvarez Fucking is 280. We'll take it. Mookie's only 220. Uh, we're going chalky today. Mine's, four, <laughs> mine's 470. Otani's oh. 235, and he hasn't even hit a home run. He hasn't hit a home run yeah. since Korea. You're down two eighty. All right, Bill. Bill's going fucking. What is yours, Bill? Four seventy. Way to grab a dick, Bill. Way to grab a dick. Um, any other games you like today, Bill? Uh, yeah, but I have it for the subs. That's right. I'm not going to give all mine out again today. We gave it ton out yesterday. Uh, I will give you. We gave out three home run winners, dude. So it's technically five if you count rackets. Um, you don't get paid three times. I'm just trying to compliment you rackets. Hit the can, I, can, I, can, I, can I compliment rackets? Can I be nice I mean, to them? Yeah, but if you're better, right? Can it not just be all about you for once? Imagine somebody parlayed all three of them together. Imagine someone gave credit Hoffman to rackets. Hoffman parlayed two of them and got 1500 bucks on a $50 Hoffman card. Hoffman tipped me $50. Yeah, he tipped me too, and then you gave it back. I'm like, shit, I'm <laughs> keeping that. Fuck that. Say, there's no way rackets give that back. No fucking way. There's no I knew I fucked you when I did it too. I was like, we want to see rackets in chat the rest of the night. He's like, fuck this. <laughs> Hold on. I got, I got the it. email. I was like, what? Check the memo. Like, Do you hear yep. about this, Bill? No. 
Uh, Hoffman went in the chat yesterday. Here, look. Uh, you can see there. So it says on the bottom, Dinger Tuesday from Hoffman. And I send it back to him like, fuck out of here. So Hoffman wrote in the uh, in the chat, uh, thank you, Tommy G and Rackets for the home run calls. Didn't care about you. Didn't play your bets. He Who didn't would? play your bet. He Who said, would? Fuck you. Honestly, we have us here. Um, and he <laughs> goes, thank you, Tommy G and Rackets for your home run call. And I just, I put the hashtag tips for staff. That's <laughs> <laughs> a joke. Because he won like 1500 And he tipped me $50. It tipped me 50 bucks too. And I, I sent it back to him. And Rackets ain't sending that shit back. That's the rack hole <laughs> over there. <laughs> The rack hole. Once money goes into it, it ain't coming back out. Ain't coming back out, baby. No chance. Um, I, I think you got to use the Dodgers as a parlay piece today, right? We got Glass now on the Hill versus Harrison. I mean, this has to be a parlay piece. I like I it like a little bit. I like any Dodger for a home run today. At, you pick any one of them. Done that. Yeah, I think I think the Dodgers just fucking straight skull fuck. The fact that they got to and, what and a I, play by the Rangers at third. Let's fucking go. Fact Let's that keep they it. got the fact that they got to Webb yesterday the way they did was pretty impressive. Um. Yeah, so I'm going to use Dodgers as a parlay piece. Let's initially do it right now with the Rangers. I'm with you on that, Bill. I like the Rangers today. Go to hockey in a second. So I'm going to go Rangers-Doyers. Rangers-Doyers, plus 110. Uh, love that play. And uh, let's get to the ice real quick. Did we do hockey yet or no? No. I don't think so, right? All right, let's go to fire on ice here. One more. I like the Pirates today. You can even take the run line. Galatis Parades. They will be called. I think I'm on the Pirates today, too. For uh, the official stay cash and bet, I like the minus 148 on DraftKings, but uh, I don't have a problem with the minus one and a half for plus money. I've got a a Pirates bet also that I love, but you have to be a member. Wow. Bill's Bill's being greedy. I love it. That's fine. I love it. Hey, I like it. It makes people spend more money. Three home run calls. Listen, Listen, guys, get over to 4deep.com. I did a lot of research on this bet. I'm not going to just give it out for free. Yeah, dude, not like all the other ones he just gave out with no research. (laughs) 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 I'm not giving this one out. I did research on it. (laughs) You know, every day I do stuff. You know, every day I look up for at least an hour because I'm in a doctor's office. So that's true. That's true. I know you do. I know you do. Um, I like the Rangers today. They're minus 190, like I said. So you want to use that as a parlay piece. Um, tomorrow, I'll give you Indiana State. We talked about that. I think that line is uh, money line. Get that now because it's moving. Minus 142 now. It was 135 when we started the show. Uh, Indiana State, college basketball. Back to hockey. There was another hockey play I liked. Not many games today. Um, I think I like the Canucks. Mm, I like the Canucks. Yeah, we're going to go with the Nucks. Nuck if you buck. Uh, against the Arizona Coyotes, minus 145. But I uh, really like the Rangers. You're the Rangers parlay piece. Rangers should skull fuck today. Uh, Rackets, any tennis or anything? Uh, my dog was just losing her mind. Um, mm, uh, do I lose her tennis today? I don't think I have much. I don't think I have any tennis today. Mm. Mm. Left. Uh, no. Uh, well, actually, WTA Charleston, maybe. Um, give me a second. I'll look at that. Take your time. Um, Bill, anything else for you? Uh, no. We got, I think, another week or so. We got UFC 300. Yes, right? we got we got a lot of big events coming up. We got the Final Four coming up on Saturday, National Championship coming up on Monday, Masters coming up on Thursday, and I think the huge Mania. UFC what it's WrestleMania Mania. coming up on Saturday and Sunday. Right, so we'll be live on the voice chat. So you guys want to get signed up for that alone? Just our WrestleMania. I'm gonna Just have to Bill. fucking I'm gonna have to get a little fucking weird pulling all nighter probably Saturday <laughs> and the Sunday. <laughs> Did you see the uh, all the the golfers like Rom and all them are like this live golf? They're having two separate things is killing the sport. They're the reason. <laughs> and they're like, they should join together. Like they no will. shit. You they know? did that already, didn't they? Like try to do it and then change it or something. Like they're fucking... never gonna get rid of the PGA, bro. Because they're, it's they're money hungry. It's on TV, you can bet. Dude, you got a bunch of fucking two rich white people up at the top there that are never getting hold of that money. Cash white people hit the cycle, trashed them all today. <laughs> Let's go. So uh, they're, they're, they're even acknowledging it that it's ruining golf. I left the Asians off. Asians, you get a buy today. Um, ruining golf. They got to yeah. get the shit. Dude. Fucking white people. Fuck white people. Um, what was I just looking at or talking about there? Oh, someone in the chat said uh, Mookie Betts minus 120 for a single today, Ray Hogan said. And he goes like that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Mookie minus 120 for a single. That looks a little trappy, well, it's though. Not, it? it's, not, it's not a hit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Be careful, Ray. That's a, wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's to hit a, an actual single. That's literally single. a single. Yeah, so if he doubles and homers and goes two for four, you lose. 
So that's for an actual single itself. I was going to say, that seems trappy for a hit. How the fuck is he minus 120? Uh, WTA Charleston parlay. Emma Navarro and Danielle Collins. Minus 122. I think you can handle that one, Evan. Emma Navarro. Yeah. <laughs> Emma Danielle Navarro. Danielle Collins. Daryl Turner asks, who is the final boss of Stay Cashin? It ain't called Stay Cashin with Bill Rupp, ladies and gentlemen. That's just because I didn't push for it. <laughs> With your back, you shouldn't be pushing anyone. Bill Rupp, final words. At least my legs are the same length. My legs are fucked up, dude. I went to the doctor today. My fucking leg is fucked up, and the doctor's lying Rupp and, me. Rupp and Rackets, 5.30 today. Yeah, Rupp and Rackets, 5.30 Discord. today. 5.30 in Discord. All right, Rackets, final words. Uh, Rupp and Rackets, 5.30, and let's go Texas. What a boy. Uh, Evan Hand, final words. Rigged. Four. Howie Dewey. Luke's, Luke Hoff is still in the waiting room? <laughs> is that Luke Hoffman, Evan Hand, Bill Rupp, Joey Rackets. Guys, get over to Four Deep right now. We got Monster Week. You buy a seven day pass, forty fucking dollars. You could buy two months for one hundred eighty dollars, which is the best buy on the board. But seven day pass, forty dollars. That will be from today, which is Wednesday, all the way to next Wednesday. That's going to get you fucking March Madness, Final Four, NCAA Championship, all the baseball, WrestleMania live Discord shows Saturday and Sunday, golf. MMA, NBA, NHL, and Bill's underwear. Four it's deep. Com. I'll even be in that, there this weekend. I think, but Rackets, you're gonna be on a voice chat? Yeah, I'll come in as WrestleMania. Wow, I gotta get some extra I blow think, for that. <laughs> I think uh Anjo messaged me and said if uh we want him to come on and talk WrestleMania or give bets, he would do it. Ooh, all right, hey, listen, let's bring him on. Let's go. Let's go, Anjo. We're on Twitter space tomorrow. Anyone just raise their hand. Come up. No, uh, not tomorrow, Friday, 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 Friday. Friday. Yep. So get down. uh yeah, get Rangers over right now. Fucking go. Let's go. Get over to fourdeep.com. Go there right now. Buy a $40 a week. Buy a fucking $180 two months. Just come fuck with us. We're fucking the best. And we will be entertaining the shit out of you guys this weekend. A lot of fun to be had on that live voice chat. Last live voice chat show went about 18 hours. So we'll see if this one goes less than 10. But Orioles, we'll be on that. Orioles has moved again. Of course. Four so, or But honestly, well, if you I, sign up by Saturday, the Orioles will be playing. I promise you that. <laughs> you might have a bet for that game. You might have a bet. Uh, good luck. Stay cash, you motherfuckers. Let's go.